Alright guys, welcome back to more PES 6 Fantasy League. Today we're going to be at AC Milan at the San Siro. We're at home, pretty much. Well, you, you might as well say that because it's a stadium share, isn't it? Duh. But <laughs> yeah, in the last episode it was absolutely crazy. The first game, first episode, uh, we won against Leon 2-1. It's just absolutely mental that. It was down to 10 minutes. Go watch it. Go watch <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Go watch it, guys. But uh, yeah, uh, in this one, we've got 11 players to start off with um, in this one. Let's hopefully, hopefully it will keep that way. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Gonna be gonna be good, guys. Gonna be good. I think a uh, bit of a derby for the second episode. So uh, yeah, um, I've decided to keep things the same. I've got the auto uh, lineup select on, so it kind of puts like the best sort of players that are on form kind of thing. Uh, in, into the team and whatnot, which uh, is something I like. As you can see, the Ronaldo is actually playing uh, for AC Milan. So I think the transfer update is as of the uh, the January window for the 2006-2007 uh, season. So uh, yeah, make what you will of that. But yeah, in my opinion, it doesn't really change too much. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get going. Let's see what happens here then today, guys, in the big derby. So um, yeah, Figo's playing today. I was going to take him out and put Maxwell on, but then I was just like, hey, you know what, I'll keep Figs on. Uh, he had a pretty good game in the last one anyway, so why not? Um, but yeah, um, 2006-2007 season, AC Milan, they won the Champions League this season. Uh, they beat Liverpool in the final, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, like, you know... Liverpool won it against them, you know, like a couple of years previous. So I guess, you know, it, it's not it's not that big of a deal, I suppose, if you're a Liverpool fan. But um, you know, oh, his Figs, his Figs. Oh, never mind. He's, fe he's not fast enough. His Figs, neither is Vieira. You know what I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty, the good players, the skillful players, but they are slow. I like pace in my team more, but you know, with this team, we've got to take what we've what we've got. So, um, yeah, I can't wait till we start, like, visiting, uh, like, places like, um, you know, like going to Old Trafford and, and Stamford Bridge and Emirates and stuff like that in this game. And then, like, visiting Barca and, and that. You know what I mean? I love away games. I don't know. I just like away games more than I do home games. So I can't wait to see some of the stadiums in this game because, you know, I'm using the, um, the FLS patch, uh, which is absolutely amazing. And... Um, yeah, I uh, in fact I'll thank uh, Football Poma actually for uh, for uh, showing me this because uh, without it, to be honest, guys, you know a lot of my Pez stuff wouldn't exist without um, without him or whoever without that guy. So uh, yeah, and um, yeah, the, the stadiums look absolutely fantastic in this game. You know. It, there's so much detail as well, you know what I mean? Like in some of the stadiums, you might see it, but there's there's like even little like little water bottles near near the goals and stuff. And there's just little details like that that's been put into it, and it's just absolutely amazing. All the kits are updated with finer details as well, which I really like about this patch. And um, it's absolutely amazing. It's just it's it's so much better than just the normal game. You know what I mean? It makes the game like a like a hundred times better, not just ten. I was about to say ten times better. It's like a hundred times better. So this can be. Come on, we need another win today. Well, we need to win every game, really. But uh, you know what I mean. It's really interesting to see how this series is going to go because with all these great teams in it, like I said in the last episode, who knows what is going to happen? Here's Addy. Go on, Addy. Run out of Maddie. Go on. Adriano. Oh, he's it's the post. And, oh, it's back across the face of goal. That is unbelievable. How? How did that even happen right there? This it's Feeks. And, oh, it's picked up by Dida. Never mind. That is unbelievable. Come on, there's got to be a goal somewhere. 25 down in this one. Plenty of time yet, though. I mean, it's sort of a league where anyone can beat anyone. You know, I mean, when you, when you've got like, say, I don't know, an English league, for example, you always expect like Chelsea, United, Arsenal, Liverpool to all sort of finish near the top. You, you know what I'm saying? But when you've got a league like this, it's like you just don't know what's going to happen. It, you know. It, it's probably more than likely that the big teams are going to be up there, but with so many big teams, it's like who is going to be up there though? You know, it's really, it is really a, a, a big question. Here's Vieira. Oh, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Go on. Oh, go on. Keep it going. Yeah. 
stay back. Kind of high pressing here, so we need to. Oh, that's offside. Giladino, Giladino, a Pez 5 ledge. A Pez 5 ledge, guys. But like, like I was saying in the last episode, like all the uh, the Italian teams are like def really good defensively, and, and it does show. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not just saying like in this game, but like I mean, like in real life, it does show that it, you never really see big scores and whatnot. And um, so you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what that is. It, it, it's kind of like I think I was talking about it before in one of my other series. I can't remember which one it was, but like it, it feels like you know Italians are really good at defense. Uh, you know, Spanish like Brazilian teams seem to be good, really good at attack. Oh, go on! No! How did that not go in? That is unbelievable. Dida parried it and then it just banged out. <laughs> out of nowhere. Oh, go on, Vieira. Look at that. Bit of skill. Stank. Camby. Go on, Camby. Feegs. Zani. Go on, Zani. Run at him. Oh, rock, 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 Rocky. Go on, Rocky. Feegs back in there, Feegs. It's an own goal. Oh my word! Is it Pet? Is it Mal? Is it Maldini? I think it was. Was that Maldini? It's the captain. I think I'm pretty certain that's Maldi Maldini on goal, isn't it, guys? That was unbelievable. Feegs back in there. And he's trying to get it away, and it's just. It was, it was Maldini, guys. Maldini own goal. Right on the brink of half time. Come on. I mean, I don't know if to change the formation. I'm kind of liking things as they are right now, to be honest, guys. I, I might just leave it as it is. Oh, crap. That's pretty good. Julio Cesar is in goal today because he's on form. I took Toldo out. That's going to be half time. Not bad. Not bad, we've been pretty lucky there with the own goal and then um, uh, Julius Cesar keeping that one out right at half time. Second half kicks off, nothing changed guys as usual, you know me, never change anything at half time, it's kind of rare that I do, uh, unless I feel it's very necessary. I'll tell you what, I'm liking Stankovic getting down this left hand side, I mean right, I can't get my left and right right today guys what's up with me I don't know oh Clads is going to keep it in oh your mother never mind <laughs> never mind the Recoba whatever his name is Raptor I'm just going to call him Raptor he's up front today and that's good Adriano oh good save by Dida what the hell is with Dida he's like overpowered or something Never this overpowered. Not in the normal game, you know what I mean? You put this option file into it and then boom, he's overpowered. So I don't know if there's been any stat changes. There probably is stat changes to a few players actually in this option file, guys. I don't I don't exactly know what they are. But yeah. Giladino, his Prelo. Nicely done. Recobra. Recobra. The Cobra man. Rocky. Oh, and that's going to be picked up. Come on. Bang it out. And Pirlo. Recover. Come on, Rocky. Mikon. Here's Mickey. Here's, Here's Stinky. <laughs> and Figo. Oh, no. Never mind. Here's Ronaldo. Giladino, come on. Go on, Ivan. Oh, that's good. Oh, this is good. That's got to be a goal, Adriano. It's there. It's 2 0. There was nothing their defence could do about that one. He made the right move. Did I tell you what? If we're going to win this league, guys, he is going to be a big part of our team. Definitely going to be a big part of our team. He's going to have to get as many aims as possible. He was just in the right area there for a tap-in. Very nicely picked out there. 
by um, who was that? Our number five, Stanky. Go on, Stinky, Stinky, Stanky. Easy tapping. Two up, looking good, guys. Looking good. Enjoying it so far. Can't remember who we're playing next. <laughs> it's a bit of a surprise to me because I don't really remember too well. But like I say, that, that's the, the sort of the beauty of this challenge is that you're just going to have a big challenge every time and you just don't know what's going to happen. Oh, that's good! Yeah, oh, damn. Kaka. Holds onto the ball. Here's Pirlo. Oh, Goes put it Brown, back. That's it. Go on, Addy. Ah, oh, never mind. Oh, that's offside. Ronaldo. Fat man. He's offside. You know what, guys? We're 2-0 up, so I'm actually going to change a few things up there. I'm actually going to bring um, Maxwell uh, on for Figo. I'm br I've brought Adriano off. And... Who was the other one? Can't really remember now. Oh, come on, this is good. Oh, come on, we got all kinds of men back here. No, oh, never mind. We had all kinds of men up there. That's what she <laughs> said. Oh, crap! Please don't karma me now. Not with Gilly. No, never mind. Nice idea. Oh, go on, stinky. Oh, Vieira. So, oh, come on, somebody get in the box. Oh, Cruz, you swine. How did you not bury that? She said it again. Oh, I thought that was going to be a really good goal. There was nobody running in there, and he just kind of got in there at the last second, and I thought, wow, that's going to be a goal, and then, no. Uh, doesn't matter. Maxwell. Campiasso. Oh, this is really good play. Oh, hits the crossbar. Here's Vieira. Accurate service could be another goal. Come on, we've still got it. Some really good play here. Absolutely destroying Milan. Icon's going to whip in. God, what was that? Cruz, he ain't, get, he ain't getting a game. I was going to put Tutos on, actually, just to see how he go, gets on. But um, I went with Cruz because he was on he was on red form. Kind of regretting that now. <laughs> After those couple of misses. Oh, never mind. I tell you what, we've been really good though, attacking and passing and whatnot. So you, some of this attacking, to be honest, guys, you don't really get to see this when you when you see my Master League series on on Pez Six because the team that we've got, well, at least the team we had in sort of season one, we didn't really have a you know a, a really outstanding team. Even in season two, it's not fantastically great still you know what I mean there is better players out there that can make the team better but you know what I mean you, you'll get to see a lot of attack it, uh, attacking um, um, a lot, well just, you'll get to see a lot of more attacking in this game and a lot of more goal action uh, in my opinion so yeah that's going to be a corner come on one goal one last goal here would really do it and that's going to be picked up by Dida and we've absolutely dominated AC in this one. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it, guys. What a good game for us that was today. Own goal and then an Adriano to finish it off. Oh, yeah. So it was it was Rocky. Rocky got the man of the match with 7.0. Cordoba got a 7. Point. I have to agree with that because he was actually really good in this uh, episode, guys. Um, Vieira got a 7.02. Uh, these guys came on. No, uh, they did decently. Yeah, Andrioli, I think that's his name. He came on. He was the other one I couldn't think of. Again, guys, you know, new series. Have to get used to the team and get used to some of the players. But a really good performance again today. Anyway, guys, results. PSG and Valencia to start off there. 1-1. Bayern Munich 2-1 against Benfica. 
Ajax beat Lyon 1-0. Barcelona beat Atletico Madrid 2-1. Real Madrid beat Liverpool 2-1. A lot of away wins here. Borussia Dortmund beat Juventus in their own backyard 1-0. Uh, Galatasaray beat Porto 2-0. PSV beat Man U. <laughs> PSV have beaten Manchester United 1-0 interesting Chelsea beat Arsenal 2-1 and of course we beat AC 2-0 and we're going to be top along with Real Madrid so uh, yeah 100% records for us and Real Madrid so far guys 2 out of 2 games everything's looking up so far um you Liverpool move down to 8th, Galatasaray 6, Chelsea move up to 3rd, let's move down to the bottom. Like I say, it's early days, so it doesn't really matter too much. Atletico Madrid and Lyon sitting bottom with no wins yet, no points at all. Um, well, in fact, Man U, AC Milan and Paris haven't picked up a win yet either, so uh, interesting stuff. Anyway guys, moving straight on to fixture 3, we're going to be at home against Arsenal, but otherwise, Manchester United are going to be taking on Atletico, the, neither of them have got a win yet, so that could be... a uh, Interesting one, I suppose. Uh, AC Milan are going to be at Benfica. Real Madrid are going to be against PSV. Valencia are going to be against Juventus. Liverpool are at Lyon. Barca, Chelsea there. That'll be an interesting one to see what the result is of that. Uh, Ajax, PSG, Borussia Dortmund and Porto, Galatasaray and Bayern Munich in the next episode, guys. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode. We're going to be at home against Arsenal in the next one. Wonder how this one's going to go. We've got 100% record so far. Let's see if we can keep it going. Can't rate, subscribe and share as always. See you next time from some more PESIX action with Inter. See you then.